Yo, what's up guys? Luke here, and today I have an ACR mob for you guys on Interchange, and look at this opening row. So what I do is I rush straight down from my spawn to C, because you always want to have C on this map. That's the first tip I'm going to give, so capture C right off the start if you spawn up top, because, you know, the best spawn trap or the best area to keep the enemy is A, and I think you can ask any YouTuber, any good player, they all know that. So that's what I like to do on this map, is if I spawn up top, I like to run straight down to C, e even if I spawn on the other side down below to my left spawn, uh, still go for C like these guys are here, but usually try and take it better than them. But yeah, so that's the first tip, is you want to try and take C right off the start, not A. Because you know on this map, the spawns are kind of weird. You don't spawn and get a direct home flag. You kind of spawn, the spawns are kind of weird because you spawn kind of across from each home flag. So you have to make a decision. Which home flag do you want to get? Which one do you want to go for? And in my personal opinion, and most people, C is the best one to have. So that's, if you're playing with a party, always remember, you want to have C. And uh, C and B, and you can let the enemies have A. That's perfectly fine because, you know, if you have two flags, obviously you're going to win the game even if you only hold them for the majority of the game but uh, the first thing is to get C and then the battle for B so you see here we actually didn't weren't able to get C but that was all right with me because I'm down here um, later in the game the spawns will flip flip over to what we'd prefer but uh, I think I was playing solo in this game I don't know I might have been playing with a couple people but yeah now in C I just like to sit back here and I just like to pick them off so all I have to do is watch this right side where I can use that Jeep as cover and the left side is a bit more tricky so what I like to do is come around the right side and be able to peek down the alleyway to the left so that's another tip on this map is you kinda gotta be a sneaky beaver you don't want you want to stay out of the middle of the map and that's that's a given don't ever go down over by B domination and like run down the sides there that's an open area you're gonna get picked off by either a sniper or someone like myself using a you know a long range assault rifle so you want to, the only reason you'd go into the middle of the map is to, know, to you know, throw a spawn grenade or to capture the B flag. And you'll see here I come back here because I think that I'm trying to go for A and I'm trying to, you know, support my teammates. And that's about this map. You want to support your teammates. You know, you don't want to just run over to A when your teammates are trying to hold a C, B. And that's the thing. If you can work with your teammates, it'll be good. But here's what happens when they come into A. You know, you can sit back here down this alleyway and pick them off. And uh, basically they're trapped in A. They only come out of this alleyway on the left and this other alleyway on the right so the main thing that you gotta use on this uh, map is a long range assault rifle and that's what I find to be the most successful um, you could use an SMG if you're you know holding them at B or something like that but I find that you know a long range assault rifle such as the ACR SCAR works the best for this map if you're going for a MOAP or if you're going for anything um, probably the ACR is my favorite gun for this map and you can see here um, I don't rush in there because I know they're coming out I decide to retreat a little bit and um, sooner or later they will flip over to Adon but you see here retreating another thing that you want to watch out for is snipers and gosh on this map fall in um, ba Bacara, all those sort of maps, you gotta watch out for the sniper's long range. And my advice to you is if you see a guy across the map, and you, you can see, sometimes you can see that he has a ghillie suit, he most likely has a sniper rifle. And if you see that, don't go for the shot. If he's looking the other way, sure, go and take him out with the ACR. But if he's looking right at you, I will advise just ducking down, and that will definitely stop you from getting sniped that much on this map. And uh, here, you know, when I when you get closer to the Moab, I tend to sit back a little more and just be able to pick them off, you know, from the, they're trying to rush over and get B or they're trying to rush over and get A. And that's where I like to pick them off um, now. So definitely um, just follow those tips on this map. So um, what you got to do is you got to stick to the outsides of the maps. Do not run down B domination. You got to try and capture C and B dom. Le leave them at A. You can spawn trap them in there. You want to use a long range assault rifle such as the ACR, the SCAR, the M4, you know, G36, not so much G36, but something like that. And you'll see here, this is this is what I'm to mean by holding them in A. And you have to watch out for sniper rifles, which, you know, just back off if you see a sniper. So now we've got them in A, so they're going to keep running out of this area. You can see here, they're just pouring out of here. And uh, there I pick up the Moab, and they continue to pour out of here, but I think I die very shortly. But yeah, the, um, he has ballistic vests and I die. But, um, yeah, um, when you're holding A, don't rush right up there and, like, try and get in there, because that'll just flip the spawns. I'd prefer to sit back here and, you know, pick them off from there. But anyway, guys, I just call them the Moab. That's the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoy these tips for interchange. I know it's sometimes a tricky map to, map to play, but if you follow these tips, you should have success. And uh, if you did f enjoy these tips or the gameplay or anything, please give it a thumbs up or a like rain. It really does help to get the uh, video noticed and help the channel grow. And uh, as always, guys, subscribe for a cookie. I'm out. Peace.